All right, this is our hatching area. These are our incubators. Um, that one's not oh, or filled anymore, so that one's unplugged. This is our hatch out. So when it comes time that we have to put them in a couple of days before they hatch out, we'll get this up and running. And in here, we still have a couple of eggs. We have, I have a couple of uh, white turkey eggs because I'm hoping to hatch some more white, um, white chickens. And then the other side here is full of turkeys. This is the last of our turkeys here. These will get put into the hatcher, the uh, incubating hatcher uh, this weekend. And then the following weekend we have the three chickens. So hopefully this will be the last of the hatching for the spring until uh, next year. But we just have a card table set up near a window. We don't really use the window, but power strip. And uh, that's how we do our setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to the ones that have, have that have hatched and we put them in our tub for a week. And then after a week, we then take them to the outside brooder to grow up. And then from the outside brooder, we take them to the grow out pen, which has um, where they've, they're big enough to kind of forage and be on their own. We have a guard goose there and we also have two ducks. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys every one of them so you can see how we're doing this okay after we incubate and they get out of the incubator we bring them into our garden tub i've lined it with um leftover cardboard only because i got tired of scrubbing poop off the side so it's to help control the poop and everything else now we have these three here were hatched this past weekend They'll stay in here for about a week. As you can tell, they're already getting feathers on their wings. And this is kind of also, we want to make sure that they are okay. Nothing's wrong with them. We can keep an eye on them. Now this one here, his name, him or she is called Wobbles. What had happened was is Wobbles is about almost a month old. And two weeks ago, we found him in the grow out brooder and his knees were stuck in the little, um, uh, the tiny little hard wire holes and he could not get up. And when we got him loose, he's been walking funny. So we brought him back inside the house to monitor. He's gotten better, but he uses his wings to walk. And there are times where, um, He'll walk forward and then he'll take like eight steps backwards. So he's still unsteady. He can fly out. He flew out yesterday morning. Hi, Wobbles. <whistles> he's got a really great personality. We're hoping that maybe um, once he gets a little bit bigger, he might be more steadier on his feet. But... Um, He's just not as big as the other ones. His same, his, the ones that he hatched out with, he's actually on the small side. And in the grow out brooder, he was getting picked on even after we uh, uh, took care of him. Um, he started getting picked on because he was the smallest out of everybody. So we're just going to leave him here with the three babies that hatched this past weekend and see how they do. Foxy. All right, guys. And this is our grow out brooder. Now, as you can tell, these are the ones that have hatched in the last week or two where they're feathered out enough to handle everything. They got food, 
water. And then right now their lamp's turned off, but that's their heating lamp. And then they got some hay over there. These guys come into here and we let them grow out to where we know they cannot fit through the chain link fence holes. And then we take them over to the grow out pen, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you next. All right, here's our other pen with our other breeding pair. We have two pens, two breeding pairs. Um, the reason why we put the siding up this high, the leftover siding we found on the property was because this male and my blue slate here were at the fence line constantly trying to fight each other. So we had to put up a barrier. And then my blue slate decided to then pick on my chickens. They're next to each other now. So we had to put up the sunshade. That way they could still kind of see but not be able to. But as you could tell, there's my blue slate male all puffed out and pretty. And then there's the female. Now she also has eggs and I'm gonna show you that cause she's not on the nest. So I'm gonna zoom in on that. There's all the eggs she's sitting on. So this is the blue slate mating pair we have. So all the babies will be purebred out of that one. Now, over here, we added the chicken, another chicken run. Now the chickens were actually in that area over there, but here's, there's our male stupid and his little female harem. Getting ate up by mosquitoes. Um, this is their pet or their hide house food and water they got a nice big tree to rest under nice long area we don't have a lot of chickens so this is working out perfect for them and then over here we made this our baby pen and Donald added some climbing stuff this is passion fruit vines and um dragon fruit we have a i believe it's a mango there and then over here we got some coffee plants so we're going to try and grow some coffee but i'm going to take you into this pen oh you see Yeah. Give me a second here. I am going to. We have the guard goose in here. Baby boy. And he's doing a wonderful job. So. Hi, honey. It's one of the babies. They got a hide house here. We have two ducks also in here, two baby juveniles. Baby boy. And we have 10 mixed turkeys. Oh. We definitely have a boy and a girl duck. walk around and show you the pen it's an l-shaped pen we have another hideout there why are you guys panicking 
Quack quacks. Good ducks. Okay. But we got a pool for the two ducks and the goose to bathe in. Uh, a swing set area for the turkeys to play in. And then all above me is bird netting. So none of these birds can get out and nothing can get in. This whole area is covered with the bird netting all the way around. So, let's show you some of the babies. Chickens are watching. Oh, duck ducks! Here's a duck ducks. I know I have one boy and one girl. And the ducks are just here to add extra support. Yeah. Oh, baby boy. And these are all of our turkeys. Oh, did you see that one puff out? It's so cute. wanted to show you the grow out pen and they make a mess when they eat. I suspect that's the ducks. Baby boy you got your own food. Alrighty this is our newest addition. This is a bourbon red turkey. We actually got him through a barger from a neighbor. She had all male ducks and this male turkey and no females. She saw that we had ducks and so we did a trade. One turkey and she got two female ducks so that way her boys will be happy. We had an extra female turkey which I'm going to show you. This is their pen. If I can get in, he's kind of blocking her. There you go. All right, I'm gonna try and zoom in on her. See if I can find a way to do it through all this stuff. But we have a, yes, Mr. Turkey. We have a royal palm, a female royal palm. She's sitting on eggs. So we're hoping they'll hatch soon, but she's actually in the doghouse, which is their shelter. Ah, here we go. Let's see if I can zoom in on her. Here she is. Sitting on some nice eggs. So we're kind of excited, even though she's a Royal Palm and he's a bourbon red, these guys should be really pretty. And that's the update on the turkeys.